Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to take a look at the Sansi 70 watt grill light. Sansi sent this light to me for free to evaluate and try out and share with, with all of you uh, how it works. This is an interesting light to me because they came out with the 50 watt floodlight last year, year before last, and I've been using it as a grow light, having really good results. And then they just came out with a 100 watt version of that light, which I also have. But about the same time they came out with that, they came out with this 70 watt light, and it has the exact same form factor as the uh, floodlights do, but it's optimized for growing. So it's IP66, just like the other floodlights. The color temperature isn't listed, but the uh, it's listed as full spectrum daylight. Uh, CRI of 90 plus, which means it's got really good color rendering reproduction. They advertise it to have 3,915 lumen. Color breakdown is 17.4% blue, 36.4% green, 38.8% red, and 7.4% far red. Let's go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look at it. So this was sent in, um, in Amazon. This was sent to me via Amazon and it was in an Amazon box, but I've already taken it out of that. So this was packaged within another box. So this is the box inside of the box. So we got a little card here. The user guide. Some specs there. Little hanging kit. So this, I believe, is adjustable. Yeah, this is adjustable some kind of way. So that's cool. So they give you an adjustable hanger. I haven't seen one like this before. Okay, so let's get down to what we're here to look at. So yeah, so this, I mean, it's a little different than the um, floodlights, but it's, if you've seen the floodlight video, very, very similar, very open, easily dissipates heat. So it's vented all around on the sides, the back, and the front. It's not super, super heavy. I happen to have the 100 watt light it's actually under here. Let me show you that. So this is how much bigger the 100 watt light is than this. You can kind of see how they're very similar. These are different it looks like it's i don't know if it's how they get the colors they want but it's almost like an additional lens or something over top of the light source that's different from these the 50 watt one i have has ones that look just like this so this is is different but you can see it's the same kind of case same kind of hanging apparatus and we've got just like with I didn't know if you saw it, but on the 100 watt floodlight, it has an on off switch, and this does as well. It's the exact same kind of exact same kind of switch. It's got a plastic covering, probably to protect it from moisture. The 50 watt floodlight does not have this. It's just a plug and play. So this rocker switch on um, the products they're making now is an upgrade. So let's go ahead and plug it up. I've got a um, kilowatt tester here. Most of the uh, Sansi lights, except for like the lower water, like the 15, they um, come in a little under what the advertised wattage is, but that's not that big of a deal. I'm expecting it to be a little less than 70. We'll see what we get. Around 48. That's fluctuating between 47 something and 48. So that's just a hair under 50 watts actual which is more than my 50 watt floodlight. That was actually around 39, I think. So um, yeah, it's very bright, as you can see. Um, a lot of output. It's crazy bright. I 
have a plan for this one. I'm going to replace the 50 watt floodlight that I've been growing in my office with this light. I'm going to prune it back. Uh, but I'll, I'll give you, I'll get some basic par readings on the, at the height that I have my, my canopy so you can get an idea. I probably, I don't know if I'm going to use the hanger that came with it, although it's a pretty neat hanger actually. I've already got rope hangers in place that I'll just probably hook onto the corners and hang up like that. Uh, Cause I already have those where my light, existing light is. So next we're going to hook the light up over the plant and we'll do some basic par tests of canopy height and show the output from that. Okay, so I've got this set up now over the uh, plant. This is a um, Malagetta crossed with Kingstar white tie. It's a cross that I made and it's got some fruits on it and I just pruned it back a little bit. It's in a small DWC setup, an uh, air pump, it's on a timer, so it's, that's how it looks. And this was the, this was the light that I had over it originally. This is another Sansi light, it's a 50 watt flood light. So um, you can see it's a very, very similar, I mean, it's a little different, but it's the basic um, form factor as the other one. So there's a little more output. Uh, so we'll see how it does. I'm going to do some basic par readings. It's hard to see what the way the light is now, but right at canopy. It's uh, about 500 ppfd. So that's actually pretty good for... It's more than the other one's putting out. Actually, around 600, 670 in some parts. So, um, even 700 directly under the lights. So I might actually need to raise this up a little bit. So, I'm going to raise it up so that I have about four to 500 at canopy. So, I'm going to lift this up just a little bit. I'm going to show that, but that's what I'm going to adjust it to. So, just about a few inches under, it's, you know, around six, 700 PPFD. So um, yeah, so that's pretty decent. So I'll do that real quick. I suspect it'll do very well under this light. Uh, yeah, so we'll let it go. I'll come back in uh, four or five weeks. So that's a Sansi 70 watt grow light. I'll do a follow up video in a few weeks to a month showing how well the plant is doing under it. And anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked that. Please like, comment, and subscribe.